Hello again everybody, it's Michael here with your supply and demand market report looking at cryptocurrencies. Um, today is the 4th of June 2023. Um, just before we start, just a reminder that this is purely for educational purposes. I am not a financial advisor. Um, please do your own due diligence um, and um, don't make any trades based on what you see or hear in these videos that I put out. Okay, so let's have some fun. Looking at the Bitcoin chart from where we left off last week, Bitcoin tried a rally um, this week, but it, it you know got sent back down and it closed rather poorly um, back into the range of, of the previous you know couple of weeks in, in its failed attempt to go higher. We are not at levels where we would be interested in, in taking long trades. We are observing that downtrend that it's been in, which to be fair did lose um, momentum um, this week. But as I said, it, it got sent back down. Um, look, you're talking about the daily chart. Um, but we're not down here where we would be interested in, in you know, taking positions. Again, to reiterate, I don't trade Bitcoin. I look at it because there are members of the roundtable who do trade it. Um, and I have friends, obviously, who are who are into it, so I do look at it for them as well. Um, but it, it is not yet something that I'm suggesting anyone take a position in just yet. Either we flag as we've been doing and break out to the upside, in which case we will then become interested in looking for long trades um, on pullbacks, or we continue this dribble down um, to the downside and we end up, you know, into the area where we would be sitting up in our chairs and, and looking for for longer term um, long trades as well. But for now, it's undecided what it wants to do. Ethereum is better. Ethereum had a better close. It's still close within the range of last week, but at least you could see that the, the buyers did give it a good go and they held their own for the week. They didn't lose the gains that they made like, like um, Bitcoin did. It is trying to hold and spending a lot of time at this demand zone because it had a breakout. The market did not accept that breakout and pulled straight back down. And this is now the battle that we are experiencing. It's one of the reasons I don't recommend or like trading these immediate returns, these railroad track type of zones. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, this is now the battleground that we're, we're, we're facing um, because there was very little, this was seen as an opportunity to put in short positions that people now have to defend. Um, so it's, it's now trying to see who wins um, that, that battle. Um, but for now, it's it's hanging tight at a previously tested um, supply zone. It's been building higher lows since you know, November last year. You can see that low there, and then that one, and then this one. And it's trying to make this one as a higher low as well. So it's as I said, it's it's performing decently. Um, we just need to see how it gets on. Now, something to keep in mind, based on where we are right now if we start to get something like that that would be interesting because then we might be able to say here's an idea for us to go and try and take along of course it has to meet other criteria but keep that area in mind even if it dribbles out a little bit this week and then go back up but if we start to take out this high it would be time to sit up um, as far as Ethereum is concerned. Okay. Litecoin, the, you know, has done the best this week. It's managed to close outside the range of the last two weeks preceding it, and it's going higher. It's trying to hold this as a, as a higher low. It's doing that successfully so far. Um, and we are trying to negotiate through this, just eating away at this supply at this um, supply zone right here. We're just eating away at that. It fell away from it the first time, it went back into it, held, went deeper, came down, 
obviously you can see that the next the, the second time it came down wasn't as big as the first time it came down which is suggesting you know the supply here is getting weaker and now we're breaking out to new highs here it's quite sloppy in terms of its zones it's quite wicky that's probably because it's not as heavily traded as at least i'm not a, <laughs> i'm not a crypto aficionado but i believe it's not as heavily traded as um, ethereum or bitcoin those are just more popular i guess i could be totally wrong there please correct me and put a comment down below if, if, you, if i'm wrong or I mean, please confirm that I'm right for those of you who are into your crypto. Um, but that's my understanding. Okay. So that's what we're looking at. It's, it's difficult to see a clean, clear level in, in this one for now. If we break out above this um, with a decent uh, level created that, that does make the breakout, maybe then we get interested. But it's... It's been tough trying to find a clean zone. We didn't quite make it back to to the zone that was clearest on the chart, which would have been that one. But coming back here now without breaking to new highs might be uh, um, not ideal. If you do want to trade this and it doesn't create any quality zones higher up and it breaks out, then yeah, this would be the next clean zone to, to try and consider yeah that area there and this is a new coin by popular request you can see um it's not traded much i forget the the gentleman i think it was no bs i, I hope i'm 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 getting that right who asked for the for us to to add this to the um the charts we look at there isn't much to look at though because it doesn't have a lot of data if i'm looking at the wrong coin please again comment below um, but for now it, it's not really one that we can really analyze other than say using a, a view up to to look at to look at it um, it's hard to even do any much technical analysis even the view app isn't gonna register on it because it's so new um, so I, I apologize for that but it's not one that we can really do a lot of analysis on um, in terms of the way that you know we look at charts in here. So that will do it for the cryptocurrency market. Not a lot of markets to look at, obviously. But if you wanted us, as I said, to add to this list cryptos with markets that do have data that you're monitoring, just comment below. And whilst we're on that, please... Um, subscribe if you haven't already like the videos share it with with anyone who you think might benefit from seeing it i'd appreciate that thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you around soon bye for now